Um, we would definitely want to say get that tree out more. Uh, get that tree out to center stage specifically more. Uh, because we saw there when Panda had center stage, which is a little bit different from how Panda likes to play. We see Panda a lot of the times on the outside. But when he had center stage, he had a real advantage and a good look on the game here. But moving right along into the tournament is going to be Dan versus Atata. Uh, Atata getting that upset on Tobushi. Um, and a little, when you look at the bracket, you know, Nesses in Chicago have had generally fared, fared pretty well against Sheiks. So, not yeah. all that surprising to see someone like Tata come out really strong today at Ignition. But now he's even not looking strong again here, opening up a pretty strong lead on Dan. Because Atata is such a young young man, uh, 15 or 16 in that range, I don't know if he's had a birthday recently, uh, he doesn't come out to uh, tournaments as often, but when he does, he is a force. His spacing right now is certainly a force. He has just played around all these options so well, and the oh grab was slipped! He just, he just whipped right around. He just grabbed him. Dan was in the middle of attempting to get a hold of him, and, and Atata said, no, 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 you first. Yeah, Atata's movement right now with a character who isn't known for movement has been fantastic. Although he's eaten a couple of punishes here on this uh, second stock, and a forward smash oh. will do it. Dan, yep. clutching it back. All he needed was like two or three openings to just turn this game right back around. Oh man, not able to get that sweet spot there. It wouldn't have mattered all that much as far as a stock is concerned, but right now it is huge percent. Atada needs to get back on this board here. Dan has a commanding lead in stock two. Good little uh, falling up air to up tilt combo coming out from Atada. And now he's trying to just, again, convert stage control into movement reads, which can turn into stocks when you're a right. character as explosive as Ness. Atada opting to stall there with the PSI magnet. Good tactic, gets him a little bit of control here. Oh man, but that big old head gonna come through, send it into the blast zone. Good spacing on that PK Thunder too. That can be kind of scary with that uh, with that flood always threatening. Yeah, it make it very hard to space that if you do not calculate that beforehand. Dan's looking for it. This is this is t classic Dan here, just bulling out trying to throw on an up smash. And he will get the spacing. To counter that falling neutral air from Matata, get the forward smash, seal him up off the left side of the stage. Excellent play from Dan. Great adjustment, particularly from the first stop. Yeah, I completely agree here. Now, Atata moving into game two. I actually, I find it really, really interesting that Dan allowed Atata to go to Smashville. Atata oh, yeah, has definitely. done filthy things to people on Smashville. Uh, as we saw at Frosty Fostings, I forget who he did it to, but he took a stock in like seven seconds flat on Smashville. Atata did. It was it was filthy. And the fact that Dan is allowing it, I mean, granted, he did win game one, so it's not like, oh, wow, you're dumb for doing it, but goodness, I, I am not one to want to take Atata here. And uh, the run back is happening, so Atata will get a second shot here on Smashville. Um, looks like it had a corner. Like I feel like he hasn't really found that center stage since getting that first stock. Yeah. We're talking. We've been talking about how important that stage control is the entirety of this commentary block. Yeah. And it's again being put on full display. So I saw that earlier today a Tataverse technique. It was off stream. I saw a Tata do some really interesting things with footstool in early percent. Uh, he was doing some nest footstool things. He was doing a lot of good tech roll reads. And all together, just doing really, really good stuff. So let's see if he can bring any of that into the world of the Dan matchup. Now he's playing like this, uh, this Nair spacing game, just kind of float using the floatiness of Nesta float in and out of Dan's effective range. And again, he's just having a hard time reading it. That's brought him back into the stock, got him a lead for the first time in game two. Tata looking much more clean in this game with his options, and I think he realized that spacing out that Nair is huge in this matchup. Whoa! He won that trade. He snuck completely behind him. That wasn't a trade. That oh was just using goodness. the aerial mobility, flying back him, like, super fast. Sneaking out that back here. That is sealing up stock one here in game two. Let's see. Now, last time this did happen, Atata was able to take the first stock, but then lost it, like, immediately. So let's see how fast Dan can react here. Good aggressive use of that PK Thunder. Um, we, see that hap we see that a lot of the time, using that aggressively, but we don't really ever see it land. That breakdance lands on Tata's face, and that's going to tie up this game. Dan answering back quick. It's Tata not getting much in the ways of extra credit here. That was an aggressive PK fire. Some is really like that aerial landing PK fire. Yeah. Because it, it comes out kind of a, a favorable distance. Ooh! 
Flood somehow dodging Atata's big old dome. Yeah. If that had hit Atata's face, it would have made it very hard to calculate the angle he had to use to recover. No, we believe in Atata here at Ignition. To get a good upset here would be big. He's got to get the first game. Dan does not look interested in any upsets at the moment. Yeah. Oh, Dan's playing very well, but a good retreat there from Atata to get back to the safety of that taxi platform. Another very aggressive PK Thunder, almost canceled out there by Dan, and somehow Ness is living through that up smash. Oh my goodness, that connected there. His shield dropping so low, but an F smash is going to seal up game two. Good stuff from Dan. And it looks like uh, Atada's propensity to use landing aerials kind of costs him two games in a row, and will stop him from any chance of uh, getting like any momentum going towards this upset. Yeah, and that's just Dan just very effectively knowing how to space against Ness. Yeah, that was good stuff. That was, uh, if I had to, yeah, I think you would say more about anything, those aerials landing, uh, doing some unsafe stuff there, especially off stage. I think he did a lot of things off stage there uh, with PK Thunder. Um, he looked, he didn't look bad off stage. He didn't, no, he didn't. He didn't, uh, but Dan just kept him there. Yeah. Dan, he, Atata was off stage that second game for a, a majority of the game. <laughs> Again, corner pressure is a thing. Yeah. And there's no corners in Smash for Wii.